The destruction of the footage was a pyrrhic victory. As the last of the celluloid burned, the shadows that had leaped from the screen into the world of the living lost their anchor to their point of origin. However, the entities now unbound lingered in the shadows of the real world, their existence no longer tied to the physical recordings. They had become part of the fabric of fear that draped over the town. Isabel's realization that the battle was far from over was a sobering conclusion to their ordeal. The entities, born from the darkest corners of the human psyche, could not be eradicated as long as fear existed. They were eternal, as enduring as the primal fears that gave them life. In the aftermath, Isabel's understanding of the nature of fear and its power to transcend the barriers of reality was fundamentally altered. The experience had left her with a profound awareness of the thin veil that separates perception from the abyss of terror. Shadows in the screen became a cautionary tale, a reminder of the perils of delving too deeply into the realms of the unknown and the power of fear to shape reality.